An extra little squeeze. Mm. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. Today, you guys, I'm doing a seafood boil mukbang. I have a new sauce. I'm gonna tell you about that when I get into the video. Oh, and I'm also doing two viewer topics. Tasha's gonna come in and help me with that when the time comes. I'm ready to eat right now though. Y'all ready? Then let's get into the video. All right guys, I'm back. So today I have king crab, snow crab, lobster tails. I got some giant shrimp. I got my chicken bourbon sausage here. I have some toasted brioche buns oh my god i have a new sauce i have a little green onions we're gonna see what i'm gonna do with that i have no idea y'all so let me tell y'all what's about about this sauce so a couple weeks ago i did a video i did um some viewer topics jakira dale you got me hooked on the ramen mix in the butter sauce this is basically inspired by that sauce that you gave me so let me tell you what i have in it i have shrimp ramen mix butter lemon garlic onion a little old bay we got some parsley hot sauce black pepper a lot of it because i love black pepper y'all and some monk fruit i put a little cornstarch to thicken it up you guys because i don't use a whole lot of butter in my sauce so i use a lot of water okay but it's bomb trust me all right so we about to dig in i already know the sauce is bomb because i tasted it several times while i was eating i mean while i was cooking <laughs> so yeah let's get right in Got the shrimp. Can y'all see the sauce? Let me put it right there. Whoa. It's not a real dark sauce. Mm. But it is a real bomb sauce. Mmm. Oh, that's good. So, how y'all doing? Mm. I got somewhat of a light meal, y'all, because it's kind of late. We're trying to get through a lot of videos because we got a lot going on this week. Especially this weekend. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Lobster. Oh my goodness. Where's my spoon? So I can get some of these onion chunks down here. Woo! An extra little squeeze. Mm. So y'all, my spread wasn't supposed to look like this. I actually was doing Dungeness Crab. <laughs> Man, we got the crab from our favorite little spot, y'all. Both of our mouth watering for the dungeness. Do you know that sucker smelled like ammonia? I was like, I'm not eating this. There's no way I'm eating this. So this is the lobster on the bun. Always got to squirt a little extra lemon on it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god, the bun just takes it up a notch. Mm. Lobster rolls are so bomb. Mm. So yeah, the Dungeons and Crabs smell like ammonia, like so strong. Tasha looked it up to see if it was safe to eat, which didn't matter because I wasn't eating it even if it was. And some people said it's safe. Some people were saying that the older a crab is, the more it will have that smell. And now this was a big dungeon this crab, so I'm sure he was old. But I don't care. Some people were saying they just get used to the taste. Oh no, I'm not eating ammonia. And then she said that um, she found that 
uh, crabs excrete ammonia? Mm -mm. Other people said do not eat it. So I don't know. I don't know if it's safe or not, y'all. What y'all think? Has anybody ever eaten a crab that smelled like ammonia? I don't know if it tastes like it too. Mm. Come on out. Come on out. Oh yeah. Mm. These snow crab are so good. This is camera seafood. Um meat, the the king crab and the snow crab. Whew. So Tasha gonna come in and read the topics for me. I'm gonna try to get through two today. So I'm gonna start early. I don't even know what I, what I want, y'all. This is so good. I think I should have some king. Let's have some king crab, and then we'll start the topic. I didn't bring no scissors. Be right back. Tasha's eggs are boiling in my background. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's what it is. She about to do a video after me. Here I am with this little spoon again, y'all. Jesus, I don't learn. No onions on there. Come on, onions. Here we go. All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get another. Let's do a shrimp. Shrimp roll. Shrimp roll. You know what? I'm going to drop some of these in here and let them marinate for later. Oh, I forgot that y'all didn't see the bread that I had. Tasha ate it. Ate, took a bite, y'all. Before the video started. That was one carb. <laughs> she over here licking my carbs, y'all. Because <laughs> she can't eat none. Okay, this is a shrimp. Well, I'm about to sneeze. Mm, never mind. It's not coming. Two lovers sneeze. Is that sauce good, baby? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Look, a little green onion is all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're about to start the topic, y'all. Alright, here's the topic. I am 24, a single mother of three. I recently got into a relationship in the past month, but we've been knowing each other since we were kids. But now that we're together, I'm starting to notice that his communication skills are non-existent. He can literally go hours without responding or talking to me. And when I say something about it, he gets real defensive. My thing is, should I let something like that ruin our relationship or look past it? I need help. And I asked if they live together. She said no, but they're considering it. <coughs> mm -mm. Yeah, that was my question. I said, do they live together? Because I don't know how you go hours without responding to somebody that you live with. I mean, I'm sure you can, you can be, you know, people don't talk. But that's rude as hell. If, if somebody's like asking you something and you don't, you just like, mm -hmm. you know. So I was kind of assuming that they didn't live together. And she's talking about like text messages or phone calls. So I don't know. I mean, they, they just started dating how long? Um, she said they have started dating in the past month. But they've oh. known each other forever. They've known oh, each other no. since they were children. This is early as heck, first of all. Yeah. I would be concerned... I would be thinking, does he really, is he even interested? I mean, at this point, would it only be in a month that you guys have dated? Yeah, it's That's what I'll be like about. usually in the beginning, um, when you first start dating somebody, you, you're in the getting to know them phase and mm -hmm. you're liking them. That's mm -hmm. why you decided to get into that relationship. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of like, ooh, you know, it's new. And yeah, it's, it's fun. You know. You want to talk to them a lot. I mean, yeah. to be getting ignored for hours within the first month to me is a huge red flag. I would either think he's not interested or I would be like, this probably is not a good person to get involved with because you definitely don't have communication issues down the line. Well, she says, you know, he can go literally hours without responding or talking. I can understand talking. I mean, if he has a job and he works for eight hours, which most people do have jobs, maybe he's not the type to text and call and talk and stuff at his right. job. I'm not. I don't. So. Think, at least from what I know, I don't feel like not all men talk. 
mm -hmm. and like to talk as much as women do. Right. I even noticed that with Elijah, you know, his friend will text him and he mm -hmm. will not text his friend back for six hours. Right. I mean, me and you had crazy lapses of um, communication in the Days. beginning. Even. Well, I was thinking that she was talking about if they get into something, not just like regular community, like talking to this okay. person. I don't know why I was thinking that she meant like if they had issues, he doesn't communicate. But if you're just talking about he just don't really like to talk on the phone and stuff. I mean, I hate talking on the phone, y'all. Me and Tasha did not talk a lot, especially on the phone yeah. when we first started dating. So it could be that maybe he don't like to sit around on the phone. People, some people don't like to text, you know. Yeah. But if you're saying that um, when you have an issue, he's like ignoring you, I think that's something to think about. Yeah. Like, if, if that's the case, yeah. yeah. She said that when she talks to him about it, he gets really defensive. You know, when she talks to him about not talking to her, he gets defensive. He gets upset. I, we should ask, is she talking about just regular communication? Like, does she just want to talk to him more just in general? Well, just a you know answer, what I mean? answer for both. If she just wants okay, to talk so to him my, more in general or if... My first one, if you just want to talk to him more in general. See? I'm one of those people that don't like to talk like that. So, I would be like, be patient with me, please, you know? But, if you love talking and you want somebody to talk to, well, he might not be the one for you. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? He, he might not be the one for you. I mean, I feel like they've only been together for a month. They definitely have a lot of talking to do. Right. There's definitely a lot of things to talk about. Right. There's a lot but of, he don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he don't feel like talking. He don't want to talk. Maybe he just doesn't want to talk on the phone. Who knows? Maybe that's what she means. Maybe he'd rather talk to you in person. He's not a phone person. And if it's that, if it's the fact that you're talking about over the phone, he doesn't want to talk to you, it might just be that. Does he talk to you in person? If he talks to you in person, I don't know if it's just probably he just doesn't like being on the phone. But he gets defensive when she tries to talk to him. Yeah. So you're never going to be able to resolve this unless he's ready to resolve it, basically. Because yeah. you don't want to be arguing. So our question is... Because it can get to the point where he's going to be annoyed. You know, because you always I mean, asking about something. He's obviously annoyed Exactly. He's, he gets upset. He's, he al he's already annoyed. So you might just want to date somebody else. I think I would, but... um. I was going to say, uh, y'all have been dating only a month. Y'all don't need to be considered moving together, especially if communication is an issue. Nah. Mm -mm. Definitely don't want to consider moving in together yet. Not for a very long time. Probably. Maybe. Now, if his issue is communicating when y'all have issues, mm -mm. I wouldn't mess with him. I'm sorry. Me and you did have issues with communicating in the beginning. Uh-huh. And you still messed with me. And I still messed with you. Yes, I did. But, I don't feel like you just ignored me and then got mad when I said, hey, let's talk. Yeah. I think you did, you, you did understand how important that was to, to me. I feel like after you went through whatever, you your little, oh, you need a break and then come back. You did talk to me. I don't feel like you just ignored it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, it slowly got better. If you were like, why are you asking me to talk to you? <laughs> I mean, nah, yeah, that's different. You get mad because I want to talk and figure, like work things out. No, I'm not dealing with that. Yeah. Sorry. All right, go ahead. Um, What's the next topic? Or? Uh, so you think that she should end the relationship then? I would. It's too soon to be having these issues. I feel like after a month, y'all should be having fun. I think you need to talk to him more about the whole thing. Just tell him, you know, well, look, I mean, I, I like to talk more. Is it that I ask him questions? And if he's just totally like, I don't even want to answer your questions, whatever, I don't care, then yeah, maybe you do need to look somewhere else. That's what it seemed like you've already been doing, but yeah. Then right. try to talk to him some more. Tasha said, I say, date other people. All right, so the next topic is from a young lady. She says, So I have a girl best friend. At first, everything was fine, <clears throat> going great. We've been best friends for about four months. So lately things have been off. She's been lying about a lot of things. Here are some examples. She says she had some uh, Mary Jane, but it was her mom's. She says she had money, but she didn't. She lied about getting a new phone and breaking her old one. Okay. Her friend's a liar, basically. Her best friend's a liar. And then she's so messy, she leaves her trash everywhere and she's been doing the most for attention. I just don't know what to do because I feel bad for her because she's been through a lot. But she's also just not for me, so I don't know what to do. 
So oh. basically, this is a basically a, a friend that you found out is a liar, a big liar, probably a pathological mm -hmm. liar. And she calls her her best friend. Yeah, she said they've been best friends for four months, but lately mm -mm. <laughs> she's been realizing that the girl is lying. Bye bye. So basically, mm -hmm. this topic bye. is mainly like you have a person that's a uh, a liar. I wouldn't mess with her. I'm not, I can't I can't deal with somebody who's lying. What's the point of me talking to you? Right. When I can't even trust or believe anything out, that comes out your mouth? Mm -hmm. I don't do that. Yeah. I don't like liars either. Mm -hmm. I lose interest immediately when I find out that you... Now, I mean, not to say any lies better than the other because it is not. But if you are lying to save something, mm -hmm. I understand. It's just the, it's human nature mm -hmm. when you lie to save somebody's life or you lie to save your relationship because you were cheating. Whatever the case. Even though that's wrong, but I'm saying. Yeah. You have a re a There's point. a reason for your lie. Yeah. Yeah. But when you are just making up complete lies for no reason. You ain't nobody are, even asked you nothing. You just yeah. what can I say today? That's yeah. a lie. I got mm -hmm. a car today. You don't have a bike. <laughs> right. But you tell them you have a car. Right. Your car is in the shop. Yeah, nah. But you ain't never driving it. You you are RN, but you really don't right. even have a job. And I but the thing is I ain't even asked you nothing about the car. You just right. making some you shit. Made it up. Mm -mm. That's the sign of a mentally challenged person mm -hmm. is she even a really a girl i mean that's the thing and usually those type of people do have a lot of different things that you would that you don't know about that they have been lying to you about mm -hmm. you know yeah you definitely like y'all whole friendship is basically based on a lie yeah she can go around lying on you just making stuff up just because and probably will she probably definitely gonna do that when they uh stop being friends here, you can have a piece She's of crap back. You can have that piece of crap back. Oh, hey. We about to go, y'all. Dang, I'm just done. like that? Yep, I'm just done. Just like that. We about to go, y'all. Tasha need to get Bye. in here and cook so she can get her video done. My bread is almost gone, so whatever. You know. She said so. Life that? is nothing without bread. No, just <laughs> I'm telling you. Whew. So that's it, y'all. What y'all think? Anybody else have any lying, lying ass best friends? Right. We all need those. Have you ever had a close friend that you found out was a liar? Um. Nah, just the girl I dated, Tia. Hey, T. Sure, I'm sure your ass is watching. I'm a hundred percent sure your ass is watching. Hey, E. Tia. That's the whole thing. Like the only reason why people lie is because it's like they want to impress other people. Yeah, exactly. you know, because exactly. you're not happy about whatever you really are. That's stupid. You should be okay. Or go whatever you're lying about. Right. If that's what you want to be, right. go be it. Exactly. Go do it. Go do what you want to do. Go do it. Don't lie and say you're doing it. You still know you ain't did that shit. Right. So guess what? You still feel bad. Yeah. And everybody else be knowing you lying. Everybody, they just don't say nothing. <laughs> right. They know. They All right, y'all. They call blooded for not telling the next mug. People right. that come in and, yay, yeah, she a liar. They just be all hanging out laughing and shit. I'm laughing. You stupid. Lying ass. <laughs> all right, y'all. Anyway, I'm about to leave. Bye. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's definitely know what y'all think about this video. Comment below. We got below. the vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. The link is in the description below. Set your notifications off so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time. She ain't gonna say it for me. Don't always be asking me to do the intro. <coughs> Sorry. Only good vibes. Peace. How you gonna do a piece all that? Peace. Cause you ratchet. That next time you be like, baby, take me into the video. I ain't saying shit. Shut up. You shut up. And you ain't gonna get by. Get your ass is too big. <coughs> no, your damn head too big. <laughs> <laughs> shut up.